All right, fifth grade, here we are in the second math lesson this week. Pull out the piece of paper in your packet that says 4.9 class activity, patterns and multiplication by powers of 10 using exponents. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. All right. Now, recall the powers of 10, such as, remember, looks like this, 10 to the first, 10 to the second, and 10 to the third, represent repeated multiplication with 10. 10 to the first means 10. 10 to the second means 10 times 10, also known as 100. And 10 to the third equals 10 times 10 times 10, also known as 1,000. The exponent tells you how many times you use 10 as a factor. The number of times 10 is used as a factor tells you how many times to shift that digit. So what do I mean by all this? Well, let's take a look at some of our exponents. Let's say I have a number. 0 and 4 tenths. Okay, and I'm going to say 0 and 4 tenths times 10 to the first. I'm also going to write 0 and 4 tenths times 10 to the second. And finally, 0 and 4 tenths times 10 to the third. Okay. Well, what is 0 and 4 tenths times 10 to the first? Well, that just means 0 and 4 tenths times 10. I shift that decimal point over. Let's write out our point. And I shift it over to the right because I want a bigger number. One place. My decimal point is now there. Let's go on to 4 tenths times 10 to the second. Write out your 0 and 4 tenths. Now shift that decimal place over 1 two places to the right, and fill in the empty spot with a zero. And now, four tenths times 10 to the third, write out four tenths, and shift that decimal place over, one, two, three, and fill in those empty spaces with a zero. Now you might be a little confused, what are my numbers? Well, erase your initial decimal point and erase your arrow. Ah, now I can clearly see this is 4 and I don't need the 0 in front of it anymore. Let's do the second one. Hey, now I can see that's 40. Get rid of that first 0 again. Now the third. Hey, now I can see that's 400. Get rid of that first zero. So when I'm working 4 tenths times 10 to the first, I shift the decimal place over once and get 4. 4 tenths times 10 to the second, I shift the decimal place twice and get 40. 4 tenths times 10 to the third, I shift the decimal point thrice and I get 400. Put that into practice today on 4.9 class activity.